Hey everyone, welcome into the garage for today's Top Tip Tuesday or Top Tip Thursday or Top Tip whatever day it is you watch this and this or whenever this video gets uploaded day tip video. Okay, today's tip is using Tester's Dull Coat Lacquer Spray on a chrome part tree, like this part tree for instance. Realistic, realistically, there is no um, chrome engine blocks. You wouldn't That wouldn't really be realistic if you built it that way. So you're going to want to make it not so chromey, right? Now say you don't want to strip it, you don't really want to try having to paint over it because sometimes painting over chrome can be a pain. It sometimes may not stick or whatever. Whatever reason you don't want to strip the chrome, let's just leave it at that. So what you're going to do is to save you some time, you're going to take a can of Tester's Dull Coat Spray Lacquer, which you should have because it, I think this is one of those products that everybody should have. You should at least have this can on hand because it will come in handy at some point. You take a can of Dull Coat and you're just going to coat the, the chrome parts tree. You're just going to spray the chrome parts and what should happen is you should get a dull finish. You should have now a dull finish. Something close to like a dull aluminum. It's going to look very close to that. Um, maybe even cast aluminum, aluminum depending on uh, the chrome that was used and how the and what have you because I found using this doing this process a couple of times I've noticed that it varies that it doesn't always look the same depending on the kit manufacturer and the chrome and everything it's not always going to do the same thing so it's one of those things that you're not always maybe going to use it because it's not always going to look right or give you the look you're going for but this does it has its time and place to be used I've used it in the past on some wheels instead of dechroming them stripping the chrome I've just hit it with the dull coat and it gave me some nice looking cast aluminum wheels which is what I was going for as you can see we got the chrome parts tree back from the paint booth and it is a lot less chromey a lot less shiny almost to a dull uh, aluminum if you will now it didn't work great on this parts tree chrome parts tree from AMT I have better experience doing this with uh, Japanese kit chrome Japanese chrome plating for some reason it works better on their chrome plating but you get the idea with on this one what exactly we're talking about and what exactly it can do it will dull the chrome down enough to where you may be able to use the parts without having to, to strip the chrome and paint them yourself and that was just the whole point it'll save you some time and some effort but again it's nice to have it in the old knowledge bank that sometimes it will work using dull coat over chrome so you have it today's top tip Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.